Hello everyone and welcome to another unboxing video. Today we've got something uh, that I have been trying to get my hands on for quite some time now. Um, we've got the Japanese Super Famicom uh, Mini, the Super Famicom Classic. So I still have yet to get my hands on the American version or the European version, um, but was able to track down a Japanese version for uh, not too expensive, just just a little bit over uh, original asking price, which considering it's an import for me, I was totally cool with. Um, so yeah, here it is. Um, I'm very curious. Uh, I remember, so there's the games right there. Um, when we were uh, going through the Japanese uh, Famicom Classic, the NES Mini, there were some differences. Uh, in the games that I didn't expect, uh, m mostly being that there was a whole lot of English. So, uh, like Mario 3, everything was, was in English, which was really, really strange. Um, so, I'm curious to try this out and see if that's the case here. Uh, let's just open this. And let's set that there. All right, what do we got here? Um, some paper. Enter King 2017 12 16. Not sure entirely what to make of that, but that's what it is. Okay. And here we have uh, one controller. Yeah, look at that. Nintendo Super Famicom. Ooh, yeah, that feels good. That feels. Ooh, that feels. Yeah. One thing I always loved about Super Nintendo is just how smooth. That D-pad is. Oh yeah, that's that is nice. Um, and here's the other one. Right there. Yep. So yeah, sweet. And another cool thing about these is, you know, since they use that Wii connector, I mean, this this would effectively double as a classic controller for your Wii, so or your Wii U. So that's super cool. Set those aside. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hop down here, save the best for last. Um, so it does include the USB cable, which is great, uh, and HDMI cable. And here is the little system. So let's get this baby out. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that looks so cool. That doesn't open, but yeah. There we have it. Um, it's uh, yeah, just like just like the NES classics. It's it's very faithful to the original. Like the seams and everything, they're just just the right size. Um, one complaint I have heard about this one is, so yeah, the plugs are like that, but they still have the original style to them. Um, I guess they they didn't think that it looked good enough, but. Yeah, I've heard that this opening doesn't hold up super great, which is unfortunate, but I don't know. That's not too bad to open, I don't think. Um, one thing I kind of wish they would have done... Yeah, that's cool. I wish they would have done something like have a game sticking out right here, because, I mean, essentially it looks like an empty console as it is. Like with the NES Classic, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but with the Famicom and the Super Famicom and the Super Nintendo Classic, like the game was visible while you were playing, so the fact that it's not theirs, it just it seems a little weird, it seems a little off. But I suppose pulling the front panel off to stick your controllers in looks a little off too. So you know, you get what you get. Um, but yeah, super excited about this. Um, we will be posting a video of gameplay and checking out all the games, and so look forward to that. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click like. If you like what we do on this channel, subscribe. If you want to watch more of our videos, here's two of them. The Video Game Heritage Institute is a 501c3 nonprofit organization preserving the cultural heritage and promoting the arts of video games. Donations to the organization are tax deductible in accordance with IRS guidelines.